On July 11, 2017, in Collins, Ohio, 36-year-old and mother of four, Amanda Doreen Dean, would disappear under some very mysterious and questionable circumstances. At the time of Amanda's disappearance, Amanda had been in an abusive relationship with an ex-boyfriend by the name of Fred Rear, and still to this day, Fred has never been questioned or interviewed by any law enforcement officials. On that July 11th, Amanda's family had received some out-of-the-blue texts from Fred's mother, Wren, claiming that Amanda and Fred were not good together, and that Amanda was no longer at their cabin where she had been living with Fred off and on during their relationship. And then, the family never heard from Wren ever again. Since Amanda's family had no idea where Amanda was or any way of contacting Amanda because Fred had previously destroyed all of Amanda's phones, they then decided to report Amanda missing. But after they reported her missing, not even 24 hours later, the Huron County Sheriff Todd Corbin called off the search claiming she was safe in an undisclosed safe house. Now, over five and a half years later, Amanda Dean has never been heard from and she's still nowhere to be found. There has been a tip called in from an anonymous caller that Amanda's ex Fred stated he was planning on killing Amanda and stuffing her in some blue barrels that were on the anonymous caller's father's property. But this claim has never been investigated and this person has never been spoken to about this. Amanda's family couldn't and still don't believe that Amanda would walk away from her family the way that they've been told by law enforcement. And just recently, in December of 2022, they started to really take matters into their own hands. Amanda's mother, Carolyn, had been told by Corbin for years that Amanda was somewhere safe, but after no sign of Amanda this entire time, Carolyn went down to the sheriff's station and demanded some kind of proof of life, which Corbin ultimately could not provide, and then later on, he even released in a statement in a press conference that he had no idea where Amanda was. It's now February of 2023 and Amanda's missing persons case has been reopened and currently being reinvestigated by the BCI of Ohio. But in the first weeks of this new investigation, no one that had last seen Amanda alive, including Fred, has still ever been interviewed. And appointments with Amanda's family and the BCI have never occurred to help solve this matter. So please join me on my newest podcast episode as I discuss Amanda's story further and really try and bring awareness to this already very puzzling and sketchy case. I'm your host Drew V, and you've been listening to another trailer of Drew Crime.